The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Cariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They pay him 30 pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciple approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, My appointment time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciple then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. We pray Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Many people refer to this day as a Spy Wednesday, with an allusion to the day of Judah's betrayal. But, it, but did you know also it is called Silent Wednesday? This name came from the fact that the gospel don't tell us much about what Jesus was doing between Palm Sunday and Holy Thursday. All this Holy Week until today, today, it was a silent day. Nothing said about what happened today. It was silent. Some speculated after journeying to Jerusalem and spending an exhausting day in dispute with the authorities, Jesus rested with his close friend in Bethany. If you want to observe the special day, imagine that Jesus is inviting you. Jesus himself is coming to your house. As he said to his apostle today, I will come and do Passover. I will celebrate the Passover with my disciples. Amazing today. It's a day we need to meditate. It's a day to rest. It's a day to prepare ourselves for the great freedom, which will begin tomorrow. So my dear brothers, says, if we can rest today and become overwhelmed with all we get, overwhelmed with all we do on our daily life, with all the busyness, all the challenges, and we're still busy, busy, busy preparing for Sunday parties and dinners and lunches and all that good stuff. Today is a play that you can sit back and say how much you prepare yourself for Easter Sunday. We had 40 days of Lent, 40 days of personal, intimate retreat with the Lord. Today we sit down, we examine those 40 days, how we had spent those 40 days. Remember, also, we will finally see how much the Lord suffered for us tomorrow as we celebrate Holy Thursday for the institution of the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Mass, and the priesthood. It is something very, very important for us Catholic as we come together and we celebrate that day, so special day for us on the Holy Thursday. 